बोली पंजाबी के नाते बनी भारत की पहली तो दुनिया की दूसरी यूनिवर्सिटी पंजाबी यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला जिसका एकमात्र मिशन पंजाबी बोली सभ्याचार सहत और खेडा करना सत श्रीकाल जी मैं बड़ा माण मत महसूस करना मैं थिएटर एंड टेलीविजन डिपार्टमेंट पंजाबी यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला विद्यार्थी रहा मैं सुरजीत पात्र हमेशा इस गल का माण करदा कि मैं पंजाबी यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला का विद्यार्थी रहा जिस यूनिवर्सिटी ने पंजाबी भाषा साहित्य चेतना और सभ्याचार के विकास में बहुत व्डा योगदान पाया आई एम बलदेव सिंह फ्रॉम नाइनटीन एटी नाइन बैच ऑफ आई एस एंड करंटली वर्किंग एज एडिशनल चीफ सैकटरी इंडस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट एंड माइनिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र I am very proud of my association uh, with the Punjabi University as I was member of the 1983-85 batch of MBA from the Business Management Department of the University. Hi, I am Mandeep Bhatia, a proud Punjabi University alumnus. I am a director at Amazon Lab 126, an organization behind breakthrough innovation like Alexa, Echo, Fire TV, Kindle. Hi, I'm Mamata Bhopatkar. I'm Vice President of Sales and Sales Strategy and Operations in Microsoft Corporation, and I'm a proud alumna of Punjab University. I'm Sanjeev Gupta, Director of Engineering at Google. I'm proud to be an alumna of Punjab University, Patiala. I did my Master in Technology from Computer Science Department, Patiala. Sare nu sasri kal, main DIG Patiala Vikram Ji Dugal. मैं बहुत ही माण महसूस करना तो सारे नाल शेयर करते हुए कि मैं पंजाबी यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला आई एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर च पढ़ के अज इतों तक पहुँचे आई एम अनिल कुमार गुप्ता आई डिड माई एम बी ए फ्रॉम पंजाबी यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला आफ्टर दैट आई ज्वाइन इन रेवन्यू सर्विस इन दर एटी नाइन एंड करंटली आई एम पोस्टेड एज प्रिंसिपल कमिश्नर लुकिंग आफ्टर जी एस टी ऑफ फॉर द स्टेट ऑफ हरियाणा I am really proud of uh, my Punjabi University for the contribution made in shaping my personality. Thank you. Sasi ka dosto, main ha to hada apna pami bhai the mainu fakhar hai main Punjabi University Patiala da vidyarthi. Sasri kaal, main Narendra Singh Kapoor ha. Mainu is gal da maan hai ke main Punjabi University da student reha ha. Hi, my name is Navneet Kaur Tillo and I'm a proud Punjabi University student. मैं फख्र है मैं पंजाबी यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला का स्टूडेंट रहा हाँ मैं अपने कला के क्षेत्र की जिंदगी की शुरुआत स्पीच एंड ड्रामा डिपार्टमेंट पंजाबी यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला तो की थी लॉन्ग लिव पंजाबी यूनिवर्सिटी आर्टिस्ट बनना चाहना मैं एक राइटर बनना चाहना हाँ मैं एक टीचर बनना चाहनी हाँ मैं गुरमोह संगीत बिच पीएच करना चाहना मैं एक शेफ बनना चाहनी हाँ I want to be a physiotherapist मैं एक आईपीएस ऑफिसर बनना चाहता हूँ तो मैं एक इंजीनियर बनना चाहना चौदार बहुपक्षी बहु खोजी बहुप्रत
Yeah, okay, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Good morning, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, I, feel, I feel honored to welcome you all on the third day of this three days international webinar on intelligent optimization techniques and their real life applications. As I said in the first day of the, the webinar, this international webinar is part of Azadika Amrit Mahotsab celebrated to mark the 75th year of Indian independence. It is an initiative of the government of India to celebrate 75 years of progressive India and the glorious history of its people, culture, and achievements. In this regard, the Department of Mathematics, Panjai University Patiala, is proud to host a series of online lectures by the resource persons from all over the globe in collaboration with Mizan Tepe University, Ethiopia, University of Wolverhampton, United Kingdom, and Matek Thinking Foundation, India. Now, just as uh, we did before, it is time to light the lamp and be begin today's event. Thank you, Professor. So, as per the tradition of Panjai University Patiala, I respectfully urge that you stand for university donning.
Uh, for the last two days, there were six lectures on the topic of optimization by the resource persons, Professor Kusumdev from IIT Rorke, Professor Valentina from Romania, and Professor E. H. Hussein from Minia University, Professor Shamusun Dram, Byzantine University, Professor Lelich Garg, University of Malta, Professor Osinuga Yoda, University of Business, Serbia. I hope these lectures have added up to your knowledge in the field of optimization. Today, also, there will be two technical sessions. Before starting the technical sessions of this day, I would like to invite the convener of this international webinar, Professor Satabir Singh, who is also the head of the Department of Mathematics, Panjai University, Patiala, to introduce the chief guest of the day. Thank you, Tavajan. Our chief guest of the day is Professor R.K. Baba. We are glad to have you, sir. Professor Baba is presently working as Dean, Faculty of Computing Sciences in Punjab University, Patiala. He has done PhD in area of numerical computing from IIT Kanpur in 1994. He is having more than 25 years of teaching and research experience at various institutes. Presently, he is a senior professor and former head department of computer science, Punjab University, Patiala. Before this, he also served in Slight Longoval, a deemed university in Punjab itself, and Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology, Patiala. His present area of interest are discrete mathematical structures for computer science, computer graphics, digital image processing, cloud computing, parallel and scientific computing. He has guided 12 PhD students and presently eight research scholars are pursuing their PhD under his supervision. He has also guided around 70 MTech thesis. He has published many research papers in journals of national and international repute in Elsevier, Springer, Taylor and Francis. He has presented papers in many international and national conferences also, he has chaired many sessions in these conferences. He chaired a session in an international conference of computer scientists and engineers at Hong Kong and also organized a session in international conference at Illinois University Institute of Technology, Chicago, United States. He was also guest editor of International Journal of Neural, Parallel and Scientific Computation published by Dynamic Publishers, United States. Sir, we are glad to have you in this starting session of uh, webinar on inter intelligent systems and its real life applications. I request you, sir, to address the audience. Baba, sir.
Am I audible, sir? उनका माइक ऑफ है सर जो स्पीकर जो बोल रहे बोलेंगे ना अभी उनका माइक ऑफ है There is some connectivity problem Hello. with the chief guest. Is it? Sir, chief guest ka mic off hai. Hello? Mic is on, but uh, due to... Yeah, yeah. Now on. Yes, yes. You are audible now, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Sir, now you are not audible. Uh, you can use your mobile. Baba, sir, you can open your uh, this is Cisco WebEx on your mobile, and uh, uh, there will be no problem. Yes. Yes. Now I'm audible. Yes. Now I'm audible. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please okay. continue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this inconvenience. Uh, good morning to all of you. Good, good morning, sir, and all attendees. It is indeed an honor to have an opportunity to express my gratitude to all of the dignitaries. I send a warm greeting to all of you on the behalf of the mathematics department. Hello. Is it fine now? Yes, sir. It is okay. Please continue. Sir, continue, sir. Okay. Sir, continue. Okay. So I, I send a warm greeting to all the members on the behalf of Mathematics Department at Punjab University Patiala. So I would like to express my gratefulness to all the distinguished delegates and webinar organizers for their attendance and contribution to make this webinar a huge success. As the famous saying by the George dances that he has put it this rightly that true optimization is an innovative contribution of modern research to discuss <coughs> processes. As we all are aware that the optimization is a discipline concerned with determining the optimal solution to a particular problem. And these optimal solutions are discovered by adjusting the parameters to get either a maximum or minimum value of the solution. Now I can feel that the focus of this webinar is mainly on the bio-inspired algorithms. As all we know, 
that these bioinspired Asgard themes are classified into those that are evolutionary in nature and that are swarm based. Now, genetic algorithm, differential evaluation, cultural evaluation are examples of evolutionary methods. Where a swarm category is concerned with the behavior of biological swarms through interaction of individuals in such an environment. Now, real life problems can be solved through simulation of such biological behaviors. This category includes particle swarm optimization, artificial bees, termites, bats, birds, and cats, etc. Now, additionally, these algorithms that are based on physical rules such as simulated handling, gravitational search, etc. Now, in fact, nowadays, computational intelligence approaches are used to accomplish information processes, decision making, and optimization objectives in a wide variety of science and engineering applications. It is projected that the intelligent optimization algorithms will become increasingly effective in the next few years in tackling many problems in science, engineering, medicine, etc. <clears throat> to sum up all this, just I would like to once again convey my gratitude to the honorable speakers for taking time out of their busy schedules for this webinar. A special thanks to Professor Arvind, Vice Chancellor of Punjab University, for providing immense support to make this webinar successful. Also, I want to convey my gratitude to all webinar organizers for enlightening us all with ways of resolving real life problems. Also, I want to express my appreciation to volunteers who worked hard over this few years to ensure the success of this seminar, as well as to all the attendees who are actively participating in this one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your enlightening and thought provoking address. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now I request uh, Pushwinder sir to present a uh, bouquet flowers to chief guests. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pushwinder uh, uh, sir. Now, I thank you. Thank you. To continue thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now I hand over. The stage to Miss Shagun. A very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone present here. I, Shagun, Research Scholar, Department of Mathematics, Punjabi University, Patiala, feel honored to welcome you all on the third day of this three-day international webinar on intelligent optimization techniques and their real-life applications. Now, we are going to start with our first technical session of the third day of this international webinar. So I welcome the first resource person, Professor Aysen Freyne, Michael Bukovo. He is an associate professor of computer science with the Northwest University, South Africa. He holds a BSc, MSc and PhD degrees in computer science from University of Benin, Edo State, Abu Bakar Tafawa Balewa University, Bauchi and Medibo Adama University of Technology. Yola, respectively. He is an Oracle certified professional, a member of IEEE Standards Association, ACM Institute of Information Technology, Practitioners of South Africa, and Computer Professional Registration Council of Nigeria. His area of research is software engineering with specialization in software development risk and software project management with interest in process mining and land with interest in MANET. He has been te teaching undergraduate and postgraduate students for over 25 years 
He has successfully graduated over 12 PhDs and 40 MSc students in computer science and information systems. He has published over 60 articles in high impact journals and has presented papers in over 20 international peer review conferences. Now I request Professor Isif Erinre, Michael Bukovo to kindly start with his lecture. Also to avoid the disturbance during the lecture, I request everyone present here to kindly mute your speakers. Queries can either be asked in the chat box or at the end of the lecture. Now I request. Now I request the host to make Professor Isaac Ferendre Michael Bukovo as a host so that he can deliver his lex lecture. Also, I request every participant to kindly on your webcam, web camera for for some time. So you can now start your lecture. Over to you, sir. So you may start your lecture. Thank you. I request every participant to kindly on your web camera for some time. Kindly on your web cameras for some time. Thank you. Now I request the host to take Professor Isaac Andre Michael Bukovo as a host so that he can deliver his lecture. Sir Michael, please share your screen. Professor Michael, am I audible?
please please start your lecture share your screen yes i'm she's not unmuting me i can share my screen that's i'm mute somebody she unmute me okay 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 Yes, Professor, you can unmute by clicking it at un unmute. Uh, icon is at the bottom. Yes, please unmute. Sir, kindly unmute yourself and click on the unmute button. you can unmute yourself from the unmute button on your screen Professor, if you are not able to unmute, you can press two keys, control plus M. By pressing these two keys together, you will be unmuted. Control plus M. Professor, <laughs> please see, uh, check your chat box. I drop the message. And press the, these two particular keys, you will be unmuted.
if still there is problem from your side you can uh, leave the meeting and rejoin again please try I'm trying to share my screen. Good morning, all. Hello, Professor. You, Professor Michael. Uh, you can hear me. Yes, you yeah. are audible. No? You are audible, sir. Yeah, you, sir. Yeah, good morning. Are you hearing me? Yes, you are audible. Yes, we can hear you, sir. You can start your lecture. If you are unable to show are your you PPT, we can show from this yeah. side also. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. What uh, today I'm going to make a presentation on to good optimization technique. I am from the north. 
Hello. Hello, sir. We can hear you. Hello, sir. We can hear you. We can see your screen as well. Yes, yes.
Uh, are you hearing me? Okay. So can I continue? Can you hear you, sir? Continue. Yes, sir. Continue. Am I am I communicating? Is everyone hearing me? Yes, we can hear you, Prof. Okay, thank you. You are audible. Okay, so today we we take a look at uh, code connectivity, and I'm talking from a computer science background, where we're going to take a look at uh, how we can optimize our codes. Optimizing codes is mainly for efficiency, because you can agree with me that uh, irrespective of uh, your domain, you know, computer has become universal. Uh, are we seeing, are you seeing my slide now? No, sir. No, sir, we can't okay, see it, but sir. I'm sharing. I can't see the slide. Okay, let me try to... Okay, are you seeing my... Are you seeing my slide now? No, sir. You can't see it, sir. No, sir. Okay. Sir, kindly share your screen. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, let me. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. We can see your screen now. Yes, sir, it is fine. You can carry on. Professor, please start now. It is fine.
much. Uh, first, scientists over the years have made efforts to develop software because they are specialists in their own application. And therefore, it is very important for them to learn the concept of programming. With the paradigm in software development, so, such as pair programming, extreme programming, collaborative coding, which are, are characterized by agile software development methods, it has become necessary for the experts work to the maintenance and operation. Mathematics, statistics, operation research, data science, data and process miners, big data, as well as other numerical related fees are presently influenced by the development in software applications, leading to 4IR rule in mathematics and numerical applications. It is therefore paramount it is therefore of paramount importance for everyone in the numerical world to understand software optimization and able to optimize their software application. What is software code optimization, which is our core, which is what we are actually going to take a look at today. What is software code optimization? Software code optimization, subsequently referred to as code optimization, is an approach adopted to enhance the performance of the software code. It is aimed at improving the efficiency of the intermediate code by transforming the program optimally so that it consumes fewer resources. For example, the computer CPU, the memory, therefore making the computer to execute faster. Code optimizing phase should meet the following criteria. The transformation must be correct. In other words, when you want to transform your code, such transformation must be correct. In other words, the code becomes less efficient and prone to errors. Code optimization should maximize the speed and performance of the program. In other words, we are optimizing code because of performance, because of speed, and such optimization should enhance the speed of execution. And that's basically compilation. When, if you are mathematicians, we deal with so many mathematical equations, continuous functions, they consume a lot of memory space. Therefore, it is very important that when we write our codes, we minimize in order for us to save processing time. Then the overall compiling process should not be delayed due to the optimization process. Let's take a look at the advantages of optimizing our software. The software code that is optimized is has three major answers, like that, is faster, 
it saves memory and then it performs better. So these are the three things we want to achieve when you optimize your software. Faster execution, better performance, and memory efficiency. There are different code optimization techniques. As we can see from the diagram, code optimization techniques involves five different sub techniques. The first is the compile time evaluation. How do you evaluate the time that your code takes to execute? Two things you can do under compile time evaluation are constant folding and constant propagation. How do we eliminate, how do we eliminate dead code from our software? Because some code are unreachable, some code are redundant. How do we identify the redundant codes? How do we eliminate this redundant or dead codes? Then there's what we call code propagation or code movement. How do we move a code from one segment of the program to another segment? How do we evaluate the strength of our code by undergoing what is called strength reduction? You know. Our operators have different priorities. How do we look at the priorities of our operators, our mathematical operators? Very simple arithmetic operators are multiplication, exposition, what we call better to stretching the station speed. Take a look at the above codes. A is equal to I plus You can hear what you are saying, sir. I plus one. That additional operator plus, we have eliminated that operator by taking it outside.
Hello, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. For the computer to ever and we it and it saves us a lot of time. Because what the Compiler does is that for each of the constants, it will go and get the value at the state. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can, we can hear you, sir.
The reason why S4 is redundant is because X1 Which is that how we move them out of the loop in order for us to save time because anytime the computer loop around, you know, it, it executes that code. And if that code is not part of the loop, it is better the code is removed completely. from the loop. Am I getting? Thank you, sir, for your provoking lecture. Now participants can ask their queries. Also, I request the host to unmute everyone for some time so that they can ask their queries. Also, sir, you may also check the chat box for the queries. Yes, anyone from the audience who wants to ask any question? Yes, any questions from the audience, from our speaker? So may, you may also check the check chat box for the queries. Yeah. Thank you. Let's take the questions. Okay. Yes, any further Thank questions? You. Okay. So there are no more queries from the audience. So I thanks Professor B. M. Isa Ferindre for de delivering this lecture. Respected Sir, Punjabi University Patiala feels proud to have you as a resource person today. Thanks for your valuable lecture. Now I request to the host of this webinar to award certificate of appreciation to Professor.
BM isoferrin. Thank you, sir. Now I request Professor Sattabir Singh, convener of this international webinar, to give the vote of thanks to Professor B. M. Isafarinre speech. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sagun. Dear participants, there were some connectivity issues just like yesterday. But Professor Michael is not at all responsible for this. We all are responsible. We have to work hard. We have to develop more reliable codes for communication. Then only we can get rid of such problems. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Professor Michael for being a part of our international webinar as a guest speaker. Thank you, Professor Michael. Thank you, sir. Now we will take a break for 10 minutes. Thereafter, we will start our next technical session. Thank you all.